All right, is everyone present? Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that looks to be about right. Now if you could settle down please, students, and in this day and age that means mute your microphones please. That would be kindly appreciated. Mm hmm Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Welcome to your first semester at the Quiet University. As you can see, the world is still a burning heap of trash. We are still remote and I am still not getting any happier, having to look at the dreadful faces of first-year students all day. Right. Um, excuse me. You there. Yeah, you. Did I or did I not ask you to mute the microphone. Hmm. Yes, I'm, I'm talking to you. Right there. What's your name? Oh, that is dreadful. An absolutely horrific name. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate indeed. All right, um, I think that I can speak for this entire Zoom call, if I say that we did not sign up for watching an hour of you chomping down your bowl of cereal. Take that elsewhere, please. I mean, there's an audience for everything these days. Mute the microphone, please. Thank you. Now, where was I? Oh, remote learning. I do know that you do not wish to be here, and I don't either, but, I mean, I suppose it beats being in one big classroom with you all, judging by your horrific faces. I don't think I would be able to cope with the sheer stench of it. Now, I do not wish to single anyone out, but there are certain individuals that look a lot more hmm, displeasing than others. Let's get on with it. I have sent each and every one of you a list of items and supplies that you will be needing this semester in my lectures. So, what I want to do with you now is I am going to read through this list and if you have managed to collect the item that I am telling you about, you will show me the item on the camera, okay? That way I can determine which ones of you are actually serious about their studies and have bothered to get the necessary equipment. To be fair, I, I think I can already guess who won't have all the necessary equipment. Is 
it will clearly also allow me to find any imposters, so to speak. All right. Let's get started on this list, shall we? The first item I asked you to get was fairly simple. I trust you all have this. It's just a simple pencil case. Anything will do, really. Anything that holds the supplies that I told you to get. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I got a fairly modest model here particularly favoured by teachers like myself. Inside this pencil case you should have a blue pen Excellent. You all seem to have managed to get hold of a simple blue pen. Congratulations on that. All right. The next thing you needed was a simple black pen. A staple piece, really. Can't go without. All right. Then I also asked you to get a green pen and a simple red pen. So now you should have a collection of one, two, three, four, four basic pens. Easy enough, right? If you could all Hold your four basic pens up for me, please. Mm -hmm. All right. Shockingly, you seem to have all managed to get four basic pens. Maybe I did underestimate all of you. I mean, who am I kidding? Of course I didn't. You were definitely going to disappoint me sooner rather than later. Why are you all staring at me like that? You were all staring at me the way cows stare when they're standing in a field and watch a train go past. Moving on. The next item I asked you to get was a yellow marker. Now it is of the utmost importance that this marker is yellow. Yellow is the original colour of marker. The only true colour of marker. And it is the only colour 
that should ever be used, really. Now, I want to make one exception. There is one more colour that is still slightly acceptable, and that is green. And even then, if you can help it, I would still very much prefer for you to use a yellow marker. Everyone, show me your yellow markers. Just as I thought. You, serial person, why do you not have a yellow marker? A pink one. A pink one of all colours. That, that is just ghastly. Shocking, really. Disturbing. What kind of a psychopath uses pink marker on school textbooks? That is disgusting. Now, as soon as this lecture is finished, I want you to go to the shop and get yourself a proper marker stat. Stat. No, it, it is of the utmost importance. Don't you dare try to talk back at me. You are muted, so I can't hear you, but don't think I can't see your lips moving. I mean, the complete and utter disrespect. You know, I've worked here for a long time at the quiet university, but... It does seem to get worse every single year. I don't know why I'm still surprised, really. Moving on. The next item that should be in your pencil case is a pair of standard scissors. Just some plain metal, well-performing scissors. It is also very much considered a staple piece. After all, you never know when you're going to have to cut something out. Students, please show me your scissors. Yes, just stick them up like that. Hold them by the pointy end. We don't want you to stick anyone's eyes out. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. Actually, there's quite a few of you who don't have any scissors. That worries me, frankly. I mean, if you don't have scissors, what are you going to do when suddenly you need to cut something out and your life depends on it? That's what I wonder. Everyone who doesn't have a pair of scissors, one, you're pathetic, two, get yourself a pair of scissors, stat. Be 
because honestly, I will cut you from the students list quicker than you can say staple item. All right, time to move on. The next thing you need is some type of correction ruler. Seeing as you all got your basic pens, I think a correction roller is not an unnecessary luxury to have. I mean, it's not like any of you are anywhere near perfect. I can guarantee you now, you are going to make mistakes and you are going to want to erase them. Speaking of mistakes, I have also asked you to bring a pencil, specifically a 4-H pencil. It is my opinion that they have the exact right thickness. Seeing as about 90% of you are going to spend most of their time correcting your own mistakes. I think it's not a bad plan to maybe use pencil more often. It can be erased a lot more quickly. Now, let me see your pencils, please. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Now, I can see that you all have pencils. Very well. But... Only about 30% of you have actually gotten the 4H pencil, as I requested. Which, to be honest, does not surprise me. I mean... I mean... Most of you don't look like you pay attention to detail. Ever. Suit yourselves with your inferior pencils. That 30% who actually went out of their way to get a 4-H pencil, they will enjoy the fruits of their labour. Mark my words. Alright. Now, a pencil is no use if you don't have an eraser. Now the eraser is going to be your best friend this semester. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. you all got the eraser. Are you kidding me? You again? No, I do know that. You got an eraser. 
But why is it Hello Kitty? Is this a joke to you? Do you not realise that this is a very serious university? A very respected university? Hmm? What do you have to say for yourself? Childish, to say the least. No. That was actually everything that was in my pencil case. So, well done to the few of you that actually managed to get all the items that I requested be in your pencil case. Let's put these all back in. There's that soulless stare again. Please put your utilities back in your pencil case. Thank you. Amateurs. Very well. I also wanted you to get some sticky notes. Now, this is the same principle as the markers. You have the yellow sticky notes, which are clearly the superior colour of sticky notes. The original colour of sticky notes the most respectable colour of sticky notes. However, some of you clearly think that they don't yet reach to that level of professionality those people are allowed to use green sticky notes. The more inferior kind. Now, I really hope you didn't get yourself some pink post-its, did you? Oh, right. Green. Okay, that's what I thought. It suits you. One of the most important characteristics of a good sticky note is a good stick. Oftentimes overlooked by people. Although it seems rather obvious, doesn't it? It is, unsurprisingly, mostly overlooked by people who have a preference 
for pink or orange sticky notes. As you can see, the yellow sticky note has a superior sticking quality. I would argue you would be able to stick this and then re-stick it even on a different page. Alright, that is quite enough. I have just got four items left. The next item on your list is a ruler and not just any old ruler. The ruler that you needed to get had to be precisely 30 centimetres in size. Yes. Yes, we use centimetres at the Kuwait University. Haven't they told you? What do you mean you don't know how to work with centimetres? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It's just getting worse with you by the minute, isn't it? This ruler is also special because it is flexible. Even somebody who doesn't have the, you know, mental capabilities of an above average person can't break these. See? You can drop it, you can bend it, you can probably hit somebody over the head with it, and it won't break. I see that there's a lot of people who, you know, are very not upper class, who have got standard metal rulers and I can even see some wooden rulers. I mean, what is this? The 1800s? to emphasise the importance of an indestructible ruler when you are not as gifted as others in, you know, the mental department. Alright, moving on. I also asked you to include a stapler.
I don't think I need to explain to you what a stapler is used for, do I? I didn't think so. I mean, you all aren't that stupid. You still managed to get into university. Now I know for some of you this will be the first time that you use such a device. But don't worry, it's quite simple. I think even you lot will be able to use it without much trouble. I'm going to give you one tip though. Never put your finger there. The second to last item that I wanted you to get was a box of semi-professional colour pencils, 36 of them to be precise. I expect them to All be sharp, in perfect shape, and kept at the perfect humidity. Excuse me, you think that's too much to ask? That is too much to ask, really? Hmm. Then... I don't think it is too much to ask of you to go right back to primary school where you belong with your Hello Kitty eraser and your pink marker. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mute yourself again. The world would be a better place for it. on your supplies list is perhaps the most important one. This, my dear students, is an environmentally friendly notebook. That means that all the pages in this notebook can be written on with a special marker when you write on it you can then go ahead and remove again that way we do not waste more paper than we need to Isn't that genius? All right, class, show me your environmentally friendly notebooks, please. Mm -hmm. Yes, looking good, looking good. Alright, that does it. I would argue that this notebook is probably the single most important item on your supplies list. Yet you dare show up here with a regular, old-fashioned, standard paper notebook. That's despicable. I am going to ask you a question. Do we look like savages 
who use regular disposable paper adding to the problems of deforestation, you know, killing trees, global warming? Does the earth mean nothing to you? I didn't think so. No. Once again, despicable. You know what? I've had it with you. I'm done. Please, everyone, get your textbooks out. Go to page 27 and start on exercise 4.8. Even for you lot, that shouldn't be too much to ask. All right, let's get started on the exercise. If you have any questions, please do not bother me with them. Thank you. Yes, carry on, carry on. You know what? I need a break. Class dismissed.